All right, now that we have our CTS-2 installed in your truck, there's a lot of things you can do with it on performance testing. So say you have the Evolution CTS and you wanna see the results of stock versus attuned. Well, now you can do your performance test. In the performance test, there's a 0, 060 quarter mile or your horsepower, and I'll measure horsepower and torque. Uh, by doing that, we can do a couple different things. You go in the menu option, scroll up, and you'll see your performance test there on the right. Click our performance test, come into the main menu, and now you can see your 0, 060 quarter mile horsepower and instructions. If you come in down here to the instructions, it's basically going to tell you how the quarter mile works and how to read a tree on a racetrack if you've never been on the track and don't know how that Christmas tree works. Now we want to run one of our tests. So let's start with our 0 to 60 test. We're going to select 0 to 60. We're going to come into the main gauge screen here for it. Now what it's going to do is going to tell you to come to a complete stop before you accelerate to start your 0 to 60. Once you came to a complete stop, it's going to say accelerate. And so once you start accelerating, it'll start monitoring your speed over here in the top, your distance and how far you've gone, and the time it's going to take you to go 0 to 60. So here the test is complete in demo mode, and it, we got up to 60 miles per hour. That's when it's going to say it's complete. 565 feet is how, fat, how far it took us to get to our 60 miles per hour, and it took 12.7 seconds. So this is a test you can do on your vehicle once you tune it or stock to compare the differences. Of course, doing any of these tests, we always recommend to obey all traffic laws, do this on the closed course or at the racetrack where it's legal and safe to do it. We're gonna come back in here. Now we wanna run a quarter mile test. Coming into quarter mile, it's gonna do the same thing, come to a complete stop. And then once we're ready to start, it's actually gonna say countdown to start the tree. You'll notice over here on the left, the tree starts, one second each, light turns green, you take off down the track. If you take off before the light is green, it's gonna have a red light down here to show you and the test will not complete. Um, so you have to stop and reset it again because you broke the tree. So we're gonna come back here and you can see here over here in the top left hand corner, miles per hour for your quarter mile, the distance and the time it's gonna take you. Of course, you're going 1,340 feet is a quarter mile. It took us, we got up to 92 miles per hour but it only took us 19.6 seconds in our demo mode. So you can do these tests stock versus tuned to compare the differences of your new Evolution you installed or a performance tuner that you got out there that's your monitoring with the Insight CTS-2 custom tuning or the Juice with Attitude applications as well or just for fun to show your friends what your truck can do. Um, go back into the main menu. The next one we have is horsepower. The one thing to note with horsepower is we actually need to enter our vehicle weight. Um, to get the accurate setting on the horsepower reading, you need to know what kind of mass you're gonna be moving. So. We're gonna go back to the main menu here. So we're gonna hit home. Once we're back to the screen, we're gonna swipe up. You have your main menu. We're gonna hit settings. In settings, we're gonna scroll down. Now you'll see here where it shows your vehicle weight. Enter there. Um, to get your vehicle weight, you know, if you don't know what it is, try to find a scale to see where you are to get most accurate as possible. We're gonna say our vehicle weight is 7,000 pounds. So we'll just hit these button up. Oh, went too far, so we can hit back down. And it will go in increments of 10, or if you hold it, 100. So 7,000 pounds, once we have that, we hit enter. And we can go back to the main menu, go into our performance test. And now we're ready to run the horsepower test. Horsepower test is gonna do the same thing like zero and 60. It's gonna tell you come to a complete stop. Once you're ready, it's gonna tell you accelerate to go and I'll start running. So you can see over here in the left-hand corner, here's your horsepower numbers, here's your torque numbers, and here's your G-forces that you're pulling during it. So that's another cool thing is when you're accelerating hard, you're pulling some G-forces, it's gonna tell you what kind of G-forces you're pulling. Um, and like we said, you do need to make sure your vehicle weight is accurate to be able to make these numbers as most accurate as possible. Um, for true horsepower numbers and torque numbers, we do recommend using a dyno but these can show you some pretty cool features of what your truck can do stock versus tune. Uh, once you've seen your numbers and stuff, you simply just touch the screen to exit out of it. Um, like I say, the performance tests are a fun way to test your different tunes that you put in your vehicle or just to see what your vehicle has stock as well. Um, and that's a cool thing with the performance test on the CTS-2. One thing we can do is we wanna go back, arrow, get back to the main menu, and like we talked about before, is records. We can always go back and look at our records. So say we ran a quarter mile test and we forgot what kind of speed uh, we were in it. So we want to go back. Okay, well, here's our 060 
here's our boost, here's our EGTs, miles per hour, so it's gonna record your records, and you go back in there and check what kind of test you did on the performance test as well. And that's the performance testing with the CTS too.